Hi everyone, Diane here. You know, I just filmed about three minutes with the camera off. So I unboxed one of the Shein bags. I opened one, but not the wigs. So I will do the, I'll, we'll show the jeans first and then do the wigs. I wanted to un, unpackage both. But um, yeah, this is a cheap wig I got from Timu and these are from Shein, the two new wigs I got. I really like the color of this wig, but it's too cheap and the wig cap broke that it came with. Here's some, oh, this is piece, this is a piece of the wig that I don't know what to do with. It's got like a, here, I'll get up close. It's got a hook and I couldn't figure it out. So whatever, <laughs> it's probably to make it tighter or something, but um, yeah, it does show, the wig cap broke, okay, while I was putting it on tonight. It only came with one wig cap and I just ordered like five of them for like 98 cents. So from um, Timu. So I have an order coming soon of junk. Well, not junk, but little little items. It was like a $20 order. All you need on Timu is like a $9.99 order. And on Shein, it's free shipping. I think you need $10 though on Sunday. Otherwise, I think it's $29 or $30 free shipping. So I never pay for shipping on Shein or Timu. I just save up in my shopping cart, you know, or save for, save for later. So I'm drinking my iced coffee. It is the evening. I'm filming this later. That's why I'm uploading it later. Um, actually, I didn't film this last night. I said I was going to, I put a community post that I was going to film this Friday night and post it um, today, but it's going to be posted tonight, probably late, like at 8.30 to 9. So I don't usually post that late, but I promised you guys I'd post it on Saturday. So it will be posted today, but just tonight, not earlier today. So, uh, now let's see if I can get this wig looking good. I'll show you guys the back. It's really weird in the back. I don't like the back at all. Well, with this shirt, you can't really wear this shirt with it because it has, oops, it has a, like a, a collar that sticks straight up. So the hair, I love this color. And if I didn't say I've been blonde before, I think I said that on the first video, but I had it blonde on the top in my natural brown in like 1980, think, or 81, 81 or 82, think Go-Go's and Duran Duran. You know how they had two-toned hair? It was really buzzed, it was like showing skin, it was so short, and she did use clippers, um, you know, on by my ear, and they grew out, but I didn't have any gray then, so, you know, I could get it buzzed short, and when the gray roots came in, they didn't show, because I had no gray roots. But I did start getting gray at 37, which to me was young. Um, my mom and dad were both in their 50s before they started getting gray. I just got my first at 37. That's when I started at home temporary tempor using temporary color. And I didn't like the temporary color because it made my whole head dark. I guess I used a lighter color. They only have like medium brown. I used a medium ash brown, a light ash brown. I ended up just going in and get it professionally done with permanent hair color. It's so much better and easier than doing it myself. And to me, it's worth the money. Even though, let's see, I just got my color done at a different place and it was $80, but I got a 20% discount for the first time. It's a color bar. Watch my um, videos or look at my community co posts where I show pictures. It's a place that only does color. So, And I am letting my hair grow out, so... I might go blonde someday, you know? I might just decide to dye my natural hair blonde. So this is my haul. I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna do a screenshot right now of a Timu uh, for, for a thumbnail. Let's see if I can stand back a little bit and show my outfit. That looks kind of weird, okay. Let's see, I'm, oops, sorry. Okay. Okay, thank you. And now I'll show the jeans before I show the wig. I did order a pair of jeans because I liked the black ones so much. These are the same where they have, okay, these are from Shein, you guys. This haul is from Shein. These are the ripped jeans I liked in black, but they're not as ripped as the black ones. They're not as much like skin showing, but they're stretchy, which I like. And uh, let me put my arm through to show. Oh, and they're also distressed at the bottom. I don't think I showed that the black ones were, but they also had a medium blue that I might buy. These are like $8. Let's 
I can't wear these until um, the weather warms up. It's, it's been it's been in the 50s and 60s here in LA. It's supposed to get to 68, maybe I'll wear them. I think the high 60s is supposed to get to in a few days. Okay, well I can't reach my arm up there, but you can see how ripped and skin's gonna show. Maybe I'll model these. I modeled uh, a different pair, but I really like the ripped jeans on Timu and for under $10, you can't go wrong. These are boys, but they have women's and men's and girls that look exactly like this, I'm telling you. And they have the really stretchy elastic waistband. They do have pockets. But, um, oh, these are different than the black ones. They have pockets, a little different model. Okay, these have pockets. The black ones don't. I showed them on my last haul. Oh, maybe they were dark blue. I don't remember, but they didn't have pockets. They had fake sewed pockets. And they did have back pockets, but in the front, I mean, this won't fit my cell phone. This is a tiny pocket. No, I'm going to have to use my message bag to carry my cell phone and my keys or whatever. So it does have a zipper, a fly, but you really don't need it. I don't. I just stretch them out since they're so stretchy. I think they're like, they've got some spandex in them and polyester. I doubt they have any cotton. Well, let me check, but... Seems like most of the things I buy on Timo and Shan, this is Shan, are mostly polyester and no cotton. Let's see what's in these. Oh, it's all in Asian on one side. Cool. Well, it's different languages. Gentle Psycho. Some of the things from Shan and Timo say do not put in dryer. Oh, this says tumble dry low. They say like air dry, hang dry. And some of them, I don't know if it's from Timo or Shein that will say hand wash. I'm like, I don't like to hand wash. I haven't hand washed anything I bought. Okay. It doesn't tell what it's, it probably tells online when you click on description, you know, you can see what it's made at. Let's see if it says on this side. I didn't look at both sides. Made in China, of course. Oh, here it is. Composition, different languages. We get under the light, you guys. Oh, 52% cotton. Okay. It's all in different languages. 28% polyester, 8% vicose, 2% elastine. That's like spandex. 6% elastin. Okay, so this these jeans have got polyester. These aren't for hot weather, anyways. I wear 100 percent cotton in, you know, in the summer mostly. But they're really nice and they fit me. The boys 13, 14 fit me perfectly from Shein. And I'm telling you, the women's and the men's and the boys and the girls' pants all look the same. The jeans, they have the skinny cut. They have, these are, these aren't from them. I'll tell you about my outfit. Hopefully I'll remember, but I'll, I'll do a, a outfit of the day for you guys. One second. This is not a new outfit. This is all last year. But I, I've worn these pants. I don't know if I've worn this because it hasn't been cold enough. I bought this for a trip last year that I was going to go uh, to Northern California where it's freezing. I was going to go last January, so I bought some. This isn't a fleece, but it's warm. It's really thick. And I have a t-shirt underneath too, but I'll, sh I'll show you all that. It's a cute t-shirt. So uh, it's delivered Speed X, which is really weird. And I did X out my address, my name and ad my name and address. I did, um, you know, use a sharpie on it. But um, Speed X delivered it. It's a whole different delivery company. It says it comes from Ontario. I'm sure it went from. I think it went from China to Ontario, California, which is Southern California. I think it's in uh, Orange County. No, it's in Riverside. I don't know if it's Riverside or Orange or San Bernardino County, but. Um, yeah, so SpeedX delivered it. I'm like, I thought it was on track, which is another competitor with FedEx and UPS and USPS. But and then I realized he goes, no, I'm from SpeedX. He calls, he called me from the, you know, my apartment has a security box, security gates all around it, and to get in, you have to use the phone from the front and um, call me, and I'll buzz you in if I know you or if I want to let you in. So I've got two wigs here and they're both different color blondes. They're not the same blonde as this one from Timu. So this one, I just looked at pictures. This one's got a lot of brown in it. It looks like it has maybe a little bit of blonde highlights. I don't remember this one. Oh, they look almost the same. Oh my gosh. This one's got a lot of blonde. If they're the same, I'm gonna be really pissed because they're two different wigs. 
Let me see what they say on them. This is going to make my wig freak out when I put these on. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, they have numbers. Oh, they have pictures. New fashion. This one doesn't have a picture. Okay. Does it say a color? Sachetto? Carta? It's in different languages. New fashion. Invisible nylon hairnets with elastic. Oh, good. This one has hair. Oh, these are the hairnets. The package, okay, or a hair net. This isn't like the label for the wig. Invisible nylon hair nets, good, I need a new one. Easy to apply, this one broke if I didn't say. Because I, I made a video before this that was a goof. I don't remember if I said. Size control makes one size fits most hair and style and size. Okay, good. So let's open this one first because it looks more interesting. I'm not gonna try them on now, but I will make videos with them once I, now that I have a hair net, I can make it right away. Oh my gosh, this comes with a hairnet. Fantastic, they both do. Wait, no, I don't know if that one does, but this one's wearing a hair, like a net. Crazy, I guess I'll take it out. I'm just gonna put it in a drawer in my dresser. So this is it, this is just like, not a hairnet, this is just to hold the wig in place. Oh, and it's got, it's got some paper in it. The other one I got didn't have either of these, this one is my first wig ever. Okay, and this has like a little label on it. And it's got blonde and here it's got some dark, like dark roots are growing in. It's like a dirty blonde or, oh, and it's got a lot of brown roots growing in here, so it looks kind of natural. It is long in the back, kinda. Bangs, I got, but I, I wanted bangs. Most of the wigs on there do have bangs but you can probably brush them to the side. So I will do that. That looks more natural, but I like this color blonde on me, I think. I don't know if I like this. No, I don't think I like it. And then, um, I mean, I just went by picture. And what they do is they show models. They show models wearing, uh, not wearing the wig, wear, like their hair in that style on Shein and on Timu. And then they'll show the wig, like not on, it's not the same, the model, I don't think, is wearing the wig. It just has a haircut, similar style. So, most of them. Oh, this is the same way. No, I don't like, I don't think, this is more of a light brown, which I didn't, I didn't know. This isn't, um, oh my gosh, if they're like the same, I'm going to be really mad. Because they were different ads, different pictures. They're almost the same. I'm going to hold them both up. This one does have roots. I don't know if they're the same manufacturer. I'll, oh, I just got rid of the label. Okay, I'm just gonna look at the inside. This has a strap too. I have no idea, is this to pull it on your head? But this one's, does this one? Yeah, this one has a little attachment where you can, I don't know. I, I need someone that knows wigs to tell me. So this one has a part. It goes like that, it is longer. This one's longer than the other, so they are different but I will hold them both up. Let's see, and they both, okay, which way does this one go? This one goes this way, this one goes this way. Okay, they are a little different, but they're very similar style. This one has a thing on it and this one doesn't. So I don't know if I like these colors, maybe this one. I don't know, we'll see, but they both, Make it look like your natural color is dark brown. So this one, you can't tell what my natural color is. It's probably, you know, it could be gray. It could be that I was a blonde, but most adults don't save their blonde hair when they get older. Some do, but rare, at least what I see. Maybe in like Sweden, I have a friend from Sweden, was a blonde, was like a toe head, but it, I'm friends with him on Facebook. And now his picture looks like a light brown. So like my dad, he went light brown probably. Okay, so those that's my haul. How long have I gone? Oh, I'm short. Let's see if there's anything in my bathroom I can show you guys. Um, I'll show you my hairspray that's been discontinued, and I bought a whole bunch of, uh, on Amazon, I bought from a private seller on eBay, a whole bunch of ones after they got discontinued. So I have like two or three left. But they're L'Oreal Studio Line Mega Spritz Max Hold High Shine Finishing. Now I need my reading glasses to read the fine print. But they're L'Oreal Paris. It's Max Hold High Shine. And this is a unisex line. Whoops, it was a unisex line. 
they have like mud and gel and you know stuff to spike out your hair and all that stuff. And they have, um, I think an they have another spritz that's not mega. But since I have wavy hair, this is the only hairspray I like that I've found. And I'm really upset that they discontinued it. And now I went on eBay and and um, Amazon to buy more. Last time I checked, they were like $100 a bottle, you know? Even when I paid at the store, these were like $12, I think, when they were, you know, still being sold, like at Walmart and Target and all that, CVS. But here's what's on the back if you want to freeze it and read what's on the back. Anyways, it's been discontinued. So you can't buy it unless you go on Amazon. But um, before this, I used Sebastian Spritz Forte. And then they discontinued the Forte. They just make spritz now. Well, they I don't know if they still do, but the Forte means extra hold. I tried the regular spritz. It wasn't enough. And that was, Sebastian was, I don't think it still is, but a hair salon brand wasn't available, you know, drugstore brand. And it was beauty supply store brand, basically. And um, fancy ones, not like Sally's, you know, fancy beauty supply stores. So uh, this one was really cheap. L'Oreal too, so... Okay, that's that. Did I read what was on it? I don't even remember if I read that on the... Finishing spray for ultimate control and shine. Max Hold High Shine. Okay. Yeah. Really good. I'm really upset they discontinued that. See, it's showing my gray... It's showing my dark roots because... See, look, the, the wig cap. Plus, my hair is not really long enough to pull up like in a ponytail. I'm putting the wig cap really good. So... Anyways, thanks for watching. Oh, let me do my outfit of the day. Okay. This is um, from a company called Belk.com, B-E-L-K, and it is a department store chain in, somewhere in the Midwest, mid-United States, maybe in the South, or, or um, Eastern United States, Middle or Eastern. I don't think there's any, at least in the Pacific States here. There aren't any, but it's Belk.com, B-E-L-K. And it's I think it's a privately owned department store. And um, this is their store brand. Oh, God, I can't remember the name. Maybe you guys can see it. Let me find the label. If, you, if you're looking on a big um, screen, it's their, brand, their store brand, which is cheap. I mean, compared to their other clothes, it's, they're good. And they have men, men's, women's. And boys, I know they have nice women's because my mom's bought some of this brand, the store brand. And um, I think they have girls. I know they have boys and men's, but um, other stuff, you know, they have the designer like Macy's kind of stuff mostly. And they do have sales. So I haven't bought them much. I did buy this and I've looked and there was nothing. I look all the time because I like to window shop. <laughs> so this t-shirt, it's really cool. It's lightweight. It's not fleece inside, just a thick shirt. And this is a really cute shirt. It says, I've got to have this a while. It says, have fun, hot H. And it's a Hurley shirt, which are they skateboarding and surfing? I think they are. But I just liked what it said on it when I saw it online. I thought it was cute. So I got it. And um, these pants are U.S. Polo Association. I don't remember where I got these, but maybe on Amazon. U.S. Polo Association is boys, girls, women's and men's and they're kind of like a, t a copycat of Ralph Lauren Polo with their at least with their logo they're not as expensive at all as Ralph Lauren po Polo but you can't see it but their logo is very similar to the jockey horse guy on Ralph Lauren Polo it's, a, it's another guy on a horse a jockey on a race horse but it's a little different so it's a competitor my dad liked it because he liked to wear Ralph Lauren Polo you know with the little logo the polo shirts and the polo shirts from this company have their little logo um, from U.S. Polo Associated on here. But these pants are not the usual pants I wear. They're baggy cut, but they are cargo. <coughs> Excuse me. They're cargo. And let me see if I can get really back. They're, okay. They're cargo. Oh, sorry, guys. Turn the light up. They're cargo. And, um... Yeah, I have gains in my butt. You can't tell in these baggy pants, but I like the way I look right now. I don't want to lose any weight because I've got some hips and butt right now a little bit more than when I'm too thin. But I'm if I gain like two pounds or one pound, I'm overweight. <laughs> so, um, yeah, they've got uh, what I like about the pockets is anything you put in them, they've got Velcro. 
So I don't even know if they still call it Velcro because remember the, all the shoes with Velcro? I actually have a pair of boy shoes that have Velcro, but I remember like when Velcro first came out, it was really popular. Sometime when I was a kid. I don't think it first came out when I was a kid. But it, on both, it'll keep, you know, important things closed up really well in the po big pockets. That's why it's so baggy because, you know, they want the pockets probably. And this is, this is, and what I don't like it about it is it's too high waisted. Something, this is the size, the largest boy's size. I think it's an 18 or it's not an 18, 20. It's just an 18 because 20 is usually the largest boy's size. But, um, um, something's wrong with them because you have to pull them way up. You know, I have to, and I'm sure everybody else does. <laughs> so they're cut weird, but, um, um, you know, and I have to use the drawstring, even though they're elastic, kind of. You have to because the fall, at least with me, they like will just fall down. So that's that. They are kind of skinny cut, which I like. They're narrow in the, in the legs, which I like. The only pants I really like get narrow in the legs, lower legs. So thanks for watching, everyone. And, um, yeah. You know what I didn't get? I didn't get my eyebrows dyed like I normally do when I get my hair done. Um, when I got it done last week. Um, oh, no, wait. I got it done on Monday. Today's Saturday, so I got it done this week. But, um, yeah, they're lighter. I just didn't have her do it because my, my former hairstylist that I dumped um, made a light brown for my eyebrows or a lighter color. And I didn't want her to put the same color on my hair, which I like. She matched it really well, the roots. With my, I didn't want that dark of a color on eyebrows, and I don't even know if she would have mixed it separate for me. Hopefully, I'll find a permanent haircut, hair colorist that can do both for me, and including my eyebrows. But that's, who knows? <laughs> I don't want to pay out too much. I mean, I was paying $150 for my cut and color, and I used to tip him $15, the guy that cut my hair before, at his house, at his apartment, and in, in salons. So, and he'll come to you, too. You know, he'll, he does out calls. I, I think he charges more, but I'm not sure. Anyways, um, I wasn't looking. I switched the cell phone the wrong direction. So I'm now looking into the camera, into the lens, because I normally keep it flipped, you know, on the selfie stick that way, on the tripod selfie stick. But um, take care, everyone. I'll see you soon. Bye. Oh, and happy Super Bowl Sunday. This will air late Saturday night, Pacific time. It's probably going to air by not around 8.30, 9 p.m. So uh, on the East Coast, it's already Super Bowl Sunday. Um, like if it airs here at 9, it'll be midnight there. Take care, everyone. Happy Super Bowl Sunday. Bye.